Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to make a duct tape mini accordion. It will have an outside that will have a clear tape seam so it doesn't get dirty. It will have two large expandable sections to keep your money that will have no sticky anywhere and that will have rounded edges. It will also have a Ziploc coin pouch that will have no sticky at the bottom and no sticky on the sides. It will also have an ID with a clear tape trim. So now let's get on to the tutorial. You are going to need one to two rolls of duct tape. I am using the Anna and Elsa tape and totally tie-dye. You will also need a roll of clear tape. You will need some sort of ID plastic. You can use frosted ID plastic, which you can get from binder dividers, or you can use top loaders, which are for trading cards, which you can find at Walmart. I will list where you can get these supplies in the description below. You will also be needing a four inch long piece of Ziploc. I recommend using double Ziploc or Glad brand Ziploc, but it's up to you. Now for the tools that you will be needing. You will be needing a pair of scissors. I use Westcott non-stick titanium scissors, which are meant for duct taping, but you can use any scissors you would like. You also need an X-Acto blade and you want it to have a sharp blade. You will also need a ruler. I'm using a Westcott brand metal ruler. And you will also need a cutting mat. And I am using a Fiskars cutting mat. Now let's get on to the tutorial. You're going to want to cut two four inch long pieces of your inside color. In my case, it's totally tie dye. In the case of this wallet, it would be electric blue. Now you're going to want to take your Ziploc and you're going to want to separate it apart. Now you're going to want to take your piece of tape and your Ziploc and you're going to want to place your tape right underneath the Ziploc but don't let it go over the Ziploc. You want to make sure that your Ziploc is facing the direction where this sticks up. Now all you're going to do is you want to turn it over and depending on how you cut your Ziploc what I do is I take it and I bend it over like this flatten it out and then this is what's going to make your grip on your Ziploc coin pouch. You can make it as large as you want. I make mine about a half an inch. You're going to want to do the same thing with your other piece of Ziploc. Now you're going to want to cut two more four inch long pieces of tape of your inside color. You're going to want to make sure that it's lined up on a line and you're going to want to take your piece that has the Ziploc on it and put it face down on top of the four inch piece of tape making sure that it lines up with the three inch line so that it is three inches tall. You're going to want to do the same thing with this piece. Now you should have two panels that look like this. You're going to want to put these off to the side. Now you're going to want to take the color that you want to be the inside of your coin pouch. So in the case of this wallet, the inside of the coin pouch was the paisley tape. And in this wallet, it's going to be pastel pink. Now you're going to want to cut three pieces of tape that are four inches long. You're going to want to take one of them and you're going to want to cut it in half. Now you're going to want to take these two panels and you want to place them together so that they just barely touch but you do not want them to overlap. So it should look something like this. Now take that piece that you cut in half and you're going to want to place it right on the center of the coin pouch. Now take one of the four inch long pieces and you're going to want to place it right here. Make sure it doesn't overlap the Ziploc. You're going to want to do the same thing on this side. So now you should have something that looks like this. Now you're going to take your roll of clear tape and you're going to want to cut two half inch long pieces of tape. So you should have two pieces of tape that look like this. Now we're going to take our coin pouch and we're going to want to fold it in half so that the Ziploc lines up. Now you're just going to want to take your scissors and we're going to cut it down so that it is three and three quarter inches long. Now I cut, now that I cut both sides down so that it's three and three quarter inches long, we're going to want to open up our coin pouch again. Now you're going to take this piece of tape that you have here and you're going to want to line it up on the side of the coin pouch making sure you don't overlap the Ziploc and you're just going to want to smooth it down 
so that you have two little flaps like this. You're going to want to close back up your coin pouch, and this may get a little tricky to understand. I hope that you guys can understand me. You're just going to want to open up the little side of the coin pouch. You're going to want to take your flap, and you're just going to want to fold it in to the coin pouch and press it in there so that you create no sticky on the inside of the coin pouch. You're going to want to do the same thing on the other side. Now out of the color that is the color of your coin pouch, you're going to want to cut a three and a quarter inch long piece of tape. And you're going to want to cut that piece of tape in half, like so. Now line up the edge of your coin pouch on a line and you're going to want to take your piece of tape and put it a little, about a half an inch on and bring it up to the top and you're going to want to fold it over to the other side and make sure you don't press down on this side because you don't want it getting stuck. Now you're going to want to place your coin pouch on its side like this. Take your X-Acto blade and you're going to want to cut right down the middle of this and you're going to want to open up your coin pouch and fold in these two little flaps of tape. This is so that your corners are nice and rounded. Now your coin pouch should look something like this. Now you're going to want to cut four six inch long pieces of tape. These are going to make the expandable parts of our mini accordion wallet. Taking one of them, you want to place it sticky side up and you're going to want to fold it in half like this. And this is will create our expandable section. You'll want to do this with the rest of your three pieces of tape. Now you should have four expandables. You're going to want to place these off to the side. Now out of clear tape, you're going to want to cut a three and a quarter inch long piece of tape and a three inch long piece of tape. You're going to want to cut these pieces of tape into fourths, or you could just basically do it about every half an inch. So this is basically how you do it. It's just about every half an inch, or you could call it a fourth. And you're going to do that with this piece as well. Now you're going to want to take two expandables and you want to make sure that their rounded edges are facing upwards. Take one of your three and a quarter inch pieces of tape and you're going to want to place it half on, half off, and you're going to want to smooth it down onto the expandable section. And you're going to want to do the same thing with this expandable section. Both of these, the tape, the clear tape should be going on the right side. Now you're going to want to place these off to the now side. Now take the other two expandable sections and you're going to want to place the clear tape the same way except you'll want to do it on the left side of the expandable section. Once again, we're just smoothing it down. Do the same thing to this expandable and make sure it's on the left side. Now you should have two, four expandable sections two where the sticky, the clear tape is on the left side and two where the clear tape is on the right side. Now take your coin pouch and take one of your expandable sections. Make sure that both of the rounded sides are facing the same direction. Take your coin pouch and place it on the piece of sticky clear tape so that you have it stuck down. You're going to want to smooth down the clear tape like so. And then you're going to want to Cut this piece right here in half like this. And you're going to want to take one of the flaps and fold it onto the expandable section. And you're going to want to take the other, the other flap and fold it into the inside of your coin pouch. Now take one of the pieces of tape that has the clear tape on the left side and you're going to want to place it with the sticky side up and you're going to want to do the exact same thing, like so, and just take your X-Acto blade and cut right down the middle. And now we're just going to fold in the flap and fold this piece of clear tape into the coin pouch. Now you're going to want to take this piece that you have and you're going to want to fold the flaps in, like so, and we're going to turn the coin pouch over, take one of the pieces, place it sticky side up, place the coin pouch on just like we've done before, rub it down, cut it in half, and fold the flaps in. You're going to want to do this with the other piece of tape doing the exact same. Now you should have a piece that looks something like this. You're actually going to want to take these 
three inch pieces of tape that you cut into fours and you're going to want to put them off to the side. Now of your inside color, you're going to want to cut a three and a quarter inch long piece of tape and you're going to want to cut it in half. You're going to want to take this piece that we have here, you're going to want to fold these flaps back and take this piece and place it half on and half off and you're going to want to fold over the sticky to both sides. Now you're going to want to place it down like this and you're going to want to cut it into three separate sections like this and you're going to want to fold one of the tabs into the expandable, the other tab into the expandable, and the middle tab you're going to want to fold directly into the coin pouch just like this. You're going to want to do the same thing to this side which I already did, and so now you should have a piece that looks like this. Now, place the coin pouch and the expandables on one side, and you're going to want to fold the expandables in half, like so. Do the same thing on the other side, folding it in half towards you, and you're going to want to do the same thing on this side. Now you're going to want to take one of the three inch long pieces of tape out of clear tape that we put off to the side, and you're going to want to place it half on half off on one of the expandables that is folded in half, like so. This is going to cover the sticky when we put the entire wallet together. You're going to want to do this on the rest of the expandables. Now you're going to want to cut two nine and three quarter inch long pieces of tape. You're going to want to make it so that this one is lined up on this line and this one is lined up on the top line so that it is four inches tall. It's okay if you have a gap in between, that's what we want. Now, take your clear tape and you're going to want to place it over the gap and you're going to want to cut this tape the same length at nine and three quarter inches and you're just going to want to smooth it out using either your fingernail or a credit card I'm using this one and you could just smooth it out so now you should have a piece that looks like this. It's okay if you have a little bit of air bubbles left, that won't really matter. You're going to want to take this piece and place it sticky side up. Now you're going to want to take the your outside color tape and what we're going to do is we're just going to open it up and you're going to want to make it so that it has a half an inch hanging over the bottom and a half an inch hanging over each side. If you don't understand what I mean, I'm going to show you and just one minute so you're just going to cut it and it should look something like this see how i have a half an inch on this side half an inch on the bottom and a half an inch on this side you're going to want to cover up the entire piece if your tape is able to line up you can go ahead and line it up i did with mine and so now you should have something that looks like this that has half an inch borders on either side now you're just going to want to take some clear tape and we're going to clear tape the seam right here. I don't know if you guys can see the glare, but I just put a piece of clear tape covering both of these seams. And now I'm just going to cut it. And you're going to want to take a credit card or use your fingernail. And you're just going to want to smooth it out. Now you're going to want to take your X-Acto blade and you're going to want to cut down the sides so that they are only... Um, about three eighths of an inch. So now you should have a piece that looks like this and you're going to want to put this off to the side. Now you're going to want to take your ID plastic and a piece of tape that is your outside color and you're going to just want to trim the ID like so and you're just going to want to fold it over so that you have something that looks like this and now you're going to want to just cut a piece of clear tape that is the same length and just clear tape it. Um, you're going to want to make your ID plastic three and three quarter by two and a quarter inches tall. Now out of clear tape, cut a piece of tape that is three and three quarter inches long and you're just going to want to cut it into force. Now you can take your ID and take one of the pieces of tape and you want to put it along here so that it goes a little past the tape itself and you're going to just want to smooth it down and then you're going to want to just fold it 
over like so. Now take another piece of tape, slip it onto its back side where you can see this white part. And you're going to want to take this piece of tape and you're just going to want to line it up along the back side so that it's half and half like so. And you're just going to want to put this off to the side. Now we're going to want to take this uh, piece that we have here and you're going to want to take your exacto blade and you're going to want to cut little diagonal cuts so that we cut out these little shapes out of the corner and you're going to want to do that for all four corners of the piece. Now that you do that to all four sides we're going to take our ID piece and you're going to want to choose the side to place your ID on based on how your tape lines up. So because I want my the faces to be facing the right direction, I'm going to put the ID on this side. So all I'm simply going to do is take this and you're going to want to take our little sticky flap here and fold it backwards like so. And what we're going to do is I'm actually going to turn it this direction is we're just going to place this right there. You're going to want to place it as close to the middle of this piece as possible. Now you're going to want to take this bottom piece and you're just going to fold it up and onto the ID. And then you're going to want to use your X-Acto blade and go right here but a little bit up and from right there cut in a diagonal shape. I'm going to want to do the same thing for the other side. So I already filmed this part and I accidentally cut wrong. So you're just going to want to um, go from right where this starts, where the ID starts, and cut in a diagonal and going this direction. And you shouldn't have a little triangle piece fall off like I did, but I accidentally cut the wrong direction. But you just want to go up, cut up. And then you're just going to want to take this and you're going to want to fold it over and then take this piece and fold it so that it creates a nice rounded edge here. Now you're going to want to turn it this way and you're going to want to fold this piece over it like this so that you have a nice rounded edge. Now this part may get a little complicated but I'm going to try to explain it the best that I can. So you're going to want to take this piece and you're going to want to take one of the expandables and turn it so that it's folded. Then take the little flap and fold it onto itself so you have a sticky piece at the top. Then you're going to want to place it right on here. You want to leave a little bit of room. Place it right along the edge and press it down. This covers the sticky on this side. And you're just going to want to smooth it down. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So take the expandable, fold it, Fold over the piece of tape like this, and then place it right on top. And you're just going to want to make sure that you do it nice and straight. Make sure that it lines up, and it does. And now you're going to want to take your X Acto knife, and we're just going to cut right here. And then you're just going to want to fold it over and you want to do the same thing for the other side. And you want to make sure that it's absolutely straight on this edge. Because if it's not, then it may turn out not exactly how you want it. So I'm just folding this piece over. Turning it the other way. I'm just going to cut that little slit right here. And fold it inwards. Just like and you want to make sure that the open end of the coin pouch is on this rounded edge. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come to this side and you're going to want to cut a um, little tab and fold it in. And this is just to make room for when you fold it in. It just helps it to fold nicer. And so we're just folding that in. You don't want to cut it off because then you have a rough edge. You want to fold it in so it's nice and uh, smooth edge. So now you're going to fold this and crease it and then fold back the tape like we did before. And this may get a little tricky. Kind of have to multitask here. And you want to fold it over 
just like this and make sure that you make it nice and straight just like that and you want to do the same thing for the other side oops it popped off so you just want to do the same thing for the other side now once you folded this side on what you're going to want to do is cut from right here up like this so that you have a triangular tab and you're just going to want to fold it on to just this expandable right here and smooth it down and then take this tab and fold it over and this creates a nice rounded edge which is what we want and you can flatten this and take this tab and fold it in take this tab and fold it in and then you have a finished mini accordion so now you should have a finished mini accordion that has a clear taped seam, no sticky in any of the eight expandables, an ID with a clear tape trim and no sticky at the bottom, a Ziploc coin pouch that has no sticky at the bottom or sides. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial.